Hi, boys and girls. This is Mrs. Maine, and I can't be with you today because I had to go out of town. I wanted to share with you how we go about citing sources that we've used in our research. Usually when we start doing citing of sources in our research, we start with books because books are the first place that you usually go to learn things. And then as you get older, you use other types of information sources as well. So I am going to show you how to cite a book source. But many of you are using websites for your information, so I also need to show you how we do that. First, you need to know that we're going to be using a website called Citation Machine, and that's going to help us set up a citation correctly according to the MLA style. MLA is just a name for a style. It stands for Modern Language Association, and you don't need to know that. But what you do need to know is anytime we get information from somewhere else, I usually say if you were not born knowing that, you need to say where you got it from if you use that information in your work. So I have some screenshots where I'm going to show you what the screen will look like when you're using Citation Machine, and I will talk you through some of the steps. Before I do, though, you're going to be opening up Mozilla Firefox, and you're going to be going to the following address. The website address is www.citationmachine.net, and these are the steps we're going to follow. I'm going to come back to this in just a moment. When you use your browser to go to this web page, it will look like this. Now, here are the steps we're going to follow. First on the left, we will choose MLA. Then we will select which type of source it is, such as a book or a web document. Then we're going to fill in the form above the line only and then submit. Here you can see that when we clicked on MLA, we get both print and non-print choices. Okay, let's say that I want to cite this book that I used in my research as a source. Okay, I keep using the word cite and citation. Cite means to say I got information from here. A citation is the way that we put it on our project to show this is the place that I got information from. There's a special way of doing it. We have to do it according to the rules. So we're going to start by citing this book. This is the form that we're going to use. First, you need to know where to get the information that you're going to be using. Some of the information is on the cover, the title, the Pomo Indians, and the author by Bill Lund. There you go. That's the cover. Okay, but the best place to really look for that information is inside on the cover page. Okay. Not only do I have the title and the author, but I usually will find right here, although some of the libraries put a sticker over it, the name of the publisher. You can see here it's Bridgestone Books, which is part of Capstone Press. And usually, too, they'll have a city there. But if they don't have it there, you go to the back of that page over here. Okay, And it will have, let's see, this says Bridgestone Books are published by Capstone Press. It gives me an address in whoop, Mankato, Minnesota. See? Right whoop, there. There we go. And then also I need the copyright date. Here it says, right underneath that it says, copyright 1997. You're looking for the word copyright or a C in a circle. Now it says copyright, copyright by Capstone Press, but we can use Bridgestone Books or Capstone Press. Now you're probably wondering what we're going to do with that information. I'm going to show you that in just a minute, but also it's important to note if you have more than one author on your book, there's a way for us to show that too, and I'll get to that in just a moment. Okay, so here I am at my computer, and I'm ready to cite a book source. Okay, You can see that there's a form here that I'm going to be filling in, and I'm going to show you screenshots of that form as I fill it in. Um, and it says it's a book for, with one or more authors, so we're going to start with a book. Here's that form again, and now the steps we're going to follow filling it in. Now near the top of the form, you can see that I've clicked the plus sign next to where it says authors, and that gives me a place to fill in information about a second author. You click the plus sign for as many extra authors as you have, and then you'll get information spots to fill in. Since I only have one author, I'm going to click the minus sign and go back to just one author. Here I've filled in my author, last name Lund, first name Bill. And here's my title, The Pomo Indians. Now the next space is for edition, 
And often a book will not have an addition. Mine did not, so I'm leaving it blank. You can too. Now here's the publishing city, Mankato, Minnesota. Notice I'm using a two-letter abbreviation, MN, for Minnesota here. Some cities are very well known, such as New York, Boston, and Chicago, but some cities are not so well known. So if yours is not a very well known city, you can put in comma and then the two letter state abbreviation. No periods, both letters capitalized. Now here I'm adding the name of the publishing company. Notice how I'm capitalizing. And finally, the year that it was published or the copyright year. I don't do anything below the line except click the submit button, which you can see I'm pointing to here with a red arrow, and I'm going to get my citation back. Look at the section that is a gray box. That's where you want to copy and paste your citation from. Below that is showing you how to set it up, but for now we're just going to copy and paste it. So you will highlight everything in just the gray box, like this, and then you will do a copy and paste into your document. Near the bottom of your bio card, it's going to look like this. Another type of information source that we may need to use is a website. The Citation Machine website refers to this as a web document. So if you used Wikipedia or any other website, you're going to cite it as a web document. So I'm going to show you what that looks like. Now before I do, it's important that you can have both the source of information and citation machine open at the same time. And the way that you can do that is by having two or more tabs open in your browser at the same time. So if you're already at citation machine, what you want to do is control T, which will open up another tab. And then in that tab, you can go to the website that you want to make a citation for. Here's the form for citing a web document. Now you'll notice that it will automatically put the date you accessed the website. I did this video on Monday, so when I made this screenshot, it was December 1st, 2008, and it automatically fills that in. You're going to find that it will have today's date, December 5th. Now normally, when I'm using the web as an information source, I like to use Wikipedia and other websites. I don't like to just use Wikipedia. But if you just use Wikipedia for this project, that's fine. Hopefully you've only used one website, because if you've used many, you're going to have to cite all of them. But I'm going to use a Wikipedia page as an example, because I want to show you using Wikipedia how to find the different things you're going to need for the citation. So here's a website that I found. It's Wikipedia, and its title is Pomo People, which um, you may or may not find that there's the word people or Indians in the title of your page. So here's the page title here, and up at the very, very top in the blue bar is the site title, which says Pomo People dash Wikipedia comma the free encyclopedia dash Mozilla Firefox. And actually, Mozilla Firefox, that last part, you don't need to include because that's the name of the browser. But your site title comes from way up here. Your page title comes from within the page. And I'm going to do some screenshots to show you how to cite each step of what you need to find for your citation machine citation. Here's a screenshot of that web page, and I'm going to point out in different colors some of the things you need for citing. The very top, I have a red underline and arrow pointing to the site title, green for the URL, and then blue for the page title. Now I've scrolled to the bottom of the page, where you can see that I have a purple circle around the date uh, that it was last modified, and I have a brown circle around the name of the organization. There is no author on Wikipedia pages. So here I've got some arrows pointing to something you're going to be leaving blank. So now I've filled in my page title. Here's my site title. There's the publishing or last revision date. And here is the organization. I've used the same colors to help you find them. Finally, we need to go back to the web page itself so that we can copy and paste the URL. Here's how I'm highlighting it and copying it, and then I'm going to paste it in the section for URL. Now I click Submit, and here it is. Here's my citation, and remember, just copy what's in the gray box, highlight it, copy it, and paste it into the bottom of your document, your bio card.